So, first, continue practicing them each individually, right? One, right. two, three, and four, okay? Um, eventually, what we want to do is actually have like a constant exercise going on. You basically want to do four bars of an exercise, uh, four bars just the right symbol high out of bass drum, and then four bars of the next exercise. So you'll start with one, Number two. Again, right? Okay. So you literally want four, four bars of one, four bars of time pattern, just similar to what we were doing with the, with the paradiddle thing, right, right? right? It's the same kind of thing. You're doing an exercise, then a time pattern. The time pattern in this case is just these three, yeah. And uh -huh. then the exercise is split up between one, two, three, and four, and back around. Okay. So you okay. just want to be able to do that constantly, right? And then once you can do that, then you can start to find on the metronome where you're starting at. Uh, which is probably in the 80s somewhere, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then try to turn on the metronome and stay with it, and then try to increase the speed that you're going on the metronome, right? Because right. straight note chase is quite a bit faster than 80, right? It's up in the hundreds. So we want to be able to get the speed up so it works at the speed that we're playing the songs are, okay? Mm -hmm. So I at least want to be able to do the four on, four off through one through four, okay? And then next week we'll learn five, six, and seven, and then we'll have all the combinations that we're going to have on that page, and then we'll start to go through. Uh, we probably won't do them all, but we'll pick some specific ones on that page that'll be interesting, yeah? Okay. 